screen here in the computer. As you can see, I'm going to start with the normal presentation. I start with all the info sessions. My name is Miriam Lazarte. I'm the CEO of Latam Startups. Welcome everyone. You are uh, more than uh, welcome to post questions or comments uh, You know, as I'm going through this presentation. This is not going to take more than 30 minutes. And I hope that uh, you, know, you guys get a very, very good sense of what are our, our programs, how we work, and you know how we work with the startups and what is going on in our community. So I always love to do this, uh, you know, through um, uh, our website because it makes it easy for uh, you know people just to navigate and make sure that they understand where information is located in our website. So the first thing is that you know we we have we do have different type of programs and the programs are here. Okay, so. You see, there are some programs that are designed for international startups and other programs that are uh, designed for local startups. In any case, I want to make sure that people understand what type of, uh, when we say startup, what type of a startup is, uh, you know, the word, what we are referring. So we are talking about technology companies that are already expanding in some way. I know a startup in different countries may have different type of definitions, uh, but in this case, you know, we are looking for technology companies, companies that can be, uh, you know, ready to scale up to give the next step. So for this reason, we are not working with companies in ideation. We are not working with companies, uh, you know, that maybe uh, have an MVP in certain uh, sectors. If you are in health tech, clean tech, you know, uh, where commercialization is a little bit more difficult, we are accepting MVPs. Uh, but for uh, other technologies, we kind of want to see some cell structure. So if you're an international startup and you want to uh, kind of, uh, you know, immigrate to Canada, the most popular program that we have is the startup program that is linked with the startup visa program. So many people ask us, uh, you know, uh, where we start, like, you know, how we can get the letter of support. That's the a regular email that we get every single day. Um, so the letter of support, we don't have a direct application to the start of visa program because we have a lot of uh, uh, things to do before we actually look at the, uh, you know, the letter of support and make sure that the company actually achieved that goal uh, for government purposes, for immigration purposes. We are not here uh, to give anyone a visa. Um, no designated company can guarantee you a visa. So if you go to any other accelerator, incubator, angel investment uh, firm or venture capital firm, nobody can guarantee your visa because just the government can give you a visa. And that visa is basically an exchange. You know, the government wants to see a scalable business in order to uh, provide you a permanent residence for, uh, you know, the co-founders that are coming under that, uh, you know, type of visa. So being said that, our mandate is to look at the business. You know, how good is the business? Um, like, is, is this a scalable business? Is, is something that it will have a good fit in, in Canada in particular, is it going to be scalable in the rest of North America and Europe? So we start actually with uh, something that is called the market validation program that by the way, right now we have open applications until uh, in September 2nd, if I am not right, uh, I'm, I'm right. Um, then, uh, you know, the, this phase one goes uh, with phase two and then, uh, you know, after phase two, people will be um, accepted if they've been accepted by the board of directors to the start a visa program, which is phase three. All the prices, all the cost and the length of the program is actually in the website. Uh, we have very good news in June, if you haven't heard about them, I, is that we actually got funded by the government of Canada to help companies in phase three. So we are right now having some extra support for the companies that are coming into phase three, that are a part of the Startup Visa program. We are providing with uh, C-fractional executives, uh, with market expert mentors, and we also, uh, you know, event uh, marketing interns. Um, so it's a lot of uh, 
you know, services that we can provide in that phase three to make sure that your company can actually achieve those sales goal, can actually achieve those funding goals. So for those that are interested in this particular program to have an immigration process at the same time uh, that they are having a, a, you know, growing a company in North America, I will suggest to please go to the startup programs. The startup programs will help you to go through phase one to phase three for those that can be eligible for that part. For the other startups that are not looking for necessary, uh, you know, immigrate to Canada, we but they are still outside of Canada, we have the corporate program, which is a program that imitates the startup visa program in a way that accelerates, uh, you know, the entrance of the company into the Canadian market, North American market. But in this case, it's a, a little bit more customized. It goes, you know, with the goals of the company instead of the structure that is put for, uh, you know, government purpose and, and scalable purposes in a startup program. So this program uh, comes, uh, you know, in no uh, due dates per se. We don't have cohorts in this program. This program comes with, uh, you know, companies come in, uh, a, you know, enrolling basis. So you can apply anytime if you feel like it's still the criteria needs to be a technology company. You know, if you have IP or not, it's kind of like no uh, necessary uh, question that we are going to ask. It will be better if the companies have intellectual property for sure. And if the companies want to, uh, you know, scale, intellectual property for us will be very important. Now, uh, the other two programs that we have here, very exciting programs. Uh, this, I'm, I'm going to go for the next one that is also for international startups, but this one is actually free for international startups because this is a bootcamp. And this bootcamp is just for one week, it's with Hamilton and Niagara, and help you exactly for the same purpose as the startup program, it's just short. Uh, it's just for one week, um, you know, you will find all about uh, how to uh, make sure your company will have a fit in the Canadian market, how you can immigrate different type of visas that you can have, you know, as an entrepreneur, and then, you know, the other resources that uh, you will have around. With this one, we have an application process as well. Uh, we will have a number of companies that uh, will be accepted into this program because this one is supported by Hamilton Niagara. We are kind of filtering per, uh, you know, the type of company that they are looking for. They, there are certain sectors that they are looking for uh, in this type of company and this type of program. If you are interested and you still don't know, you know, if Canada is your place, if this is something that you should do, then perhaps you can apply to this program, which is a free program. And you can, uh, the, only, the only thing with this program that I have to say is that you have to be in person for this one. So we're facilitating, you know, letters uh, of invitation for those that are processing uh, visas, you know, like a visit, visit or business visa. I have to say that the invitation letters come from the Hamilton and Niagara series and as well from ourselves, but that doesn't warranty you a visa. So if you don't, if you're from Brazil, uh, Mexico or Chile, you don't require a visa, but other than that, you will require probably a visa. And um, if you really want to come in person for this one, it comes with really good stuff and as well access to a big event that uh, we are going to have in the city uh, for those states. So check it out. If you're interested in that, please go ahead and apply. Uh, the new Common Entrepreneur Accelerator Program is another program that we have, but this one actually is for uh, startups that are located in Canada. And these ones are for uh, new residents or new citizens of Canada. Um, now, somebody that has 10, 15 years of, uh, you know, being a resident in Canada is still new for the, uh, for, uh, you know, for the government. They are asking to have basically a technology company already would have uh, some initial revenue or some kind of sales traction going and you are probably struggling uh, to grow up, uh, you know, in your home, in, in your city. Um, doesn't matter for us where you are located. Um, actually, major part of the companies for this program are located in Ontario, but uh, we are happy to receive companies located everywhere in Canada in this particular program. As far as, uh, you know, your background is a newcomer, uh, you know, if you are new citizen or new permanent resident, then you can come up and apply for this program. Now I'm going to pass to other sections of, uh, you know, the um, uh, the website. If somebody has questions about the programs, this is a good time to ask your questions. Maybe you can put it in the chat, or maybe you can open your mic 
please go ahead. I'm happy to be interrupted in this way if you need to uh, you know, ask any question. So if any questions right now? It doesn't seem like, but okay, I will continue then. Um, so the other part that we, uh, I like to um, basically highlight uh, as part of the resources in our website is the events. Um, oh, I have here one question from Camila. How much is the cost uh, for IP patent process in Canada? Well, this is a good question, Camila, for our partners of Licenciarte. Uh, they can give you an answer because it depends on what type of uh, product that you have. Uh, we have in our, um, in our company two partners, one in Canada, one in Latin America that can help with advice in patents. So if you send us an email, uh, you know, I'm pretty sure that our friends of Licenciarte can sit down with you and not cost just to let you know how much is going to be the cost for you in regards of IP process. So if you'd like to do that, just send us a shot and uh, I'll be connecting you with that person, okay? Okay, perfect. Um, so now for, for the events, it's important for you to know like how we are having this info session right now, basically to uh, you know clear up any questions in regards to Star Visa program or any other programs as well, you know, to let you know that we have more events coming up. We have the incorporation immigration and funding uh, event that is coming next week. For those that are looking to incorporate a company, immigrate to Canada and uh, look at funding opportunities either way for angel investment or you know free money from the government which is grants uh, this is a great session to have uh, because our lawyers uh, of incorporation and immigration and you know myself are giving information about very very detailed how you can incorporate your company in Canada how you can immigrate is extremely detailed you can come ask your questions and I can guarantee you that you are going to have a clear path after this training session. This is a little bit long precisely because it's very detailed, you know, it kind of take um, a three hours in total probably to become a part of this virtual event. We have some kind of like, uh, you know, a breakout um, a rooms and sessions, you know, like just for people just to, you know, rest up uh, a little bit from information. But it's a great session to, to have if you are curious about how to incorporate your company or how to immigrate to Canada and not just, you know, focusing in a Stara visa program because there are too many other ways on how to incorporate in Canada and how to immigrate to Canada. And of course, you know, many people have also, um, a, you know, questions about funding and how I can connect with, uh, you know, investors, how I can, uh, you know, get uh, funding, other type of funding in the market. I'm happy to pass that information to you guys in the next session next week. And of course, we also do some uh, virtual sessions also, uh, sometimes in Spanish and Portuguese for our audience in Spanish and Portuguese. Next one is in Portuguese. If anyone is here from Brazil or Portugal, then you can come. This session is free. So you can attend that one, you know, to get a sense uh, again about our programs and what we do. So if you want to know, you know, uh, what type of companies do we have, you know, what are our clients, you just can go, you know, to the client section, uh, every single uh, part of this, uh, you know, every single company has a one pager, you can look at the type of technology that they have. Since 2017, we have been able to help 150 companies and even more, a little bit more than that. Um, the ones that you will see in this section are the ones that are in the acceleration um, programs or the market entry program, which is one step before the acceleration program. Uh, so if you are curious about you know, what type of company, you can come here and look at that. We have two unicorns uh, in our portfolio portfolio, one from Brazil and Brown, one from Uruguay. And uh, you can see there that there are companies that have a, you know, $200,000 in revenue up to 10, $30 million in revenue. So there are different type of uh, companies, different type of technologies, different type of stages. So um, we work with, um, you know, a very diverse type of group of companies. There are not all companies from Latin America either. Since 2020, we have seen a lot of more companies actually coming from outside of the region than the ones from uh, the region. And we now have companies also from India, China, uh, you know, uh, different places in the world 
So if you are not from Latin America, just don't worry. Like you can also apply for our programs. You can see examples of other companies that are not from the region that are a part of our portfolio. Uh, now, this is the other part that I want to highlight today because we are looking uh, for staff members and we are looking for uh, you know people that can help us in business development and marketing and event planner. Uh, for these uh, job positions that uh, we are uh, looking right now is with people that are located in Toronto. Uh, unfortunately, we cannot hire outside of Toronto because many times we have to do uh, stuff that is uh, actually um, in the city. So uh, we need uh, you know, new members for LATAM startups uh, for, for our, um, our team located in the city. If you maybe are looking for a job uh, in this area and you are a marketing person or you want to become a pro marketing person, this is an intern uh, position, it's a paid intern position. And this one also is a job position that we have right now available uh, in our community for those that are located again in Toronto. Uh, some of their uh, information and news you can find also here, you know, our blogs are always available uh, for those that want to hear more about, you know, our companies, how things are progressing in our community, how you can get engaged with our community. We have different opportunities for people in Latin America, outside of Latin America, in Canada, you know, for those that uh, want to integrate into a very uh, diverse and inclusive community. This is the right uh, place for you. If you have ideas, you you want to volunteer for something, or maybe you know you you need to have some guidance on how to bring your company, then just please uh, reach out. We are here to help you. Uh, so that's it uh, from my side. I'm not sure if anyone has any questions right now, uh, either about you know the programs, clients, uh, you know the hiring process. Anyone with questions? I have here something in the chat. Uh, okay, so we have success cases with huge companies in Brazil, okay? Uh, we're still not profitable, but we are launching our system to the public right now in the startup program EDL. Well, it depends. Um, Camila, we, we need to have a little bit more elaboration. Do you have cases, uh, when you mentioned that you have cases uh, with huge corporations in Brazil, is that they are using your technology or what do you mean exactly with that? Paying license. So uh, they are paying license, uh, so you have revenue right now. Is that correct? Do you want to open your microphone? That's fine. Oh, hi there. Hi. <laughs> Her name is, is from my wife. Okay, I'm oh, sorry. Oh, okay. No worries. No worries. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, so when you say that you are paying license, uh, is, is you are having revenue then? Yes, uh, but small revenue. It doesn't cover the R&D uh, or mm -hmm. the support and etc. So uh, we're still also uh, searching for some uh, investments, okay? But it's it's a good time. Again, and Brian is, is really interested in investing on, on us. Maybe it's even progressive. It's not even early stage anymore. But we are, uh, in our case, it's, it is uh, for, for VR training, okay? And uh, yeah. we know yeah. that North America is much better, uh, how can I say, suited to... to to hire our, our kind of services, okay? Brazil is kind of, um, uh, how can I say, uh, learning about this technology and et cetera, okay? So we know that we, we just uh, uh, talked to 3M, I guess it was 3M in the United States. They have like 50 VR glasses. In Brazil, all companies have one VR glass, okay? So okay. we believe that it's a great starting point to, to, to start in North America. That's then, so we're okay. looking. And, and your name is? Sorry, uh, Carlos. Carlos. Okay, Carlos. Uh, yeah, I think that you probably are going to be a good match for the uh, uh, startup program. Okay. Um, as far as if, if you don't have IP right now, as far as you can claim IP, uh, you know, in the process, you will be okay. Okay. So patents take a lot of years, you know, several years to actually be claimed. Um, so do you have to worry about the IP strategy more than having the patent right away? Okay. Perfect. So um, for, for this part, Carlos, as, as I mentioned at the beginning, if you want to send us a, you know, a note, uh, more than happy to put you in contact with Licenciarte. 
and they can guide you in how the IP strategy will work for you, okay? That's no cost. You just have a conversation with the guy, you know, understanding what do you have to do in that area, and then that will give you an idea. Uh, you know, an extra, I will say, you know, it will be beneficial for you to maybe come next, next week if you have time for the Canada 101, just because that will give you an idea of how much will cost for you, for example, an incorporation process, an immigration process, if you are thinking on the startup path, that, that, that will be, you know, beneficial just to think ahead and not just, you know, jumping right away into the program uh, without to know you know, how much challenges or, uh, you know, how much it will cost in general, okay? Perfect, uh, that's very good in order to plan, uh, even to, to investors in Brazil. Uh, another question, yeah. do you guys have uh, uh, some kind of support or help in terms of uh, sales and marketing inside yeah. of Canada? Or, oh, perfect, that's perfect. We do, yeah. we do. Uh, thanks to the government of Canada for companies that reach out phase three, they uh, will get, you know, an intern um, uh, that is working with you in the marketing strategy and you get a C fractional. Most of the people that are getting C fractionals right now are getting people in sales or in marketing, uh, which, you know, I don't know if you guys have the concept of a C fractional, but this is a C level person that works already for a corporation in Canada and they are dedicating a couple of hours to you, you know, it's just uh, for the companies that are right now in the startup visa program or the corporate program that they are in the acceleration process, sometimes makes sense to have a salesperson at least for a few hours that can help the company to understand better. Now, if uh, you know you are 100% sure that you are going to need a salesperson and all that, that will be a hiring that you will have to do by yourself. But at the beginning, at least we can help you to cover up some hours and to cover up the right person for you, you know, to, to do the sales strategy. Okay, perfect. And how much is it important or if it is a differential to be in Canada in order for the boot camp or, or anything else? I, I actually don't remember if uh, maybe does the first phase can be online, right? In the second phase. Yeah, yeah the, fa the, the first phase, second phase in the startup program and the startup uh, programs is online. The third phase is kind of hybrid. Uh, it depends, you know, because some people actually get their work permits faster. So they move to Canada when they get their work permit so they can sometimes attend some of the sessions in person. But many times we run with the, the companies, the three phase programs online while they are getting their uh, visa process resolved, which, you know, we, we have no idea and this is why, you know, um, I'm kind of like um, uh, telling you from uh, up in front that nobody can guarantee you like a permanent residence or something because it's government, uh, you know, uh, work. And um, the processing time depends on how fast the government can work on this part. But being said that, when we have a startups and co-founders that get the work permit result, many times they decide to move with the work permit with their family so they can attend some of the sessions in person. Uh, the one that I was mentioning in person was the Hamilton one. Uh, is that, that's because it's just one week and uh, the Hamilton people, they really want to see the people that want to probably become a part of their programs, which is uh, you know, very, very good compiled programs to work with them very well. Um, so many companies of uh, our network are actually located there. But other than that, all the other programs can be done online. Okay, that's beautiful. Thanks. Okay, thank you. Anyone else with questions? I don't see any other questions so far. Okay, guys, uh, so I really, really thank you for being here today. This is going to be a recording session. So, uh, you know, you're going to get um, a, an email from us with this recording. If you need any other information about our programs, please go ahead, send us a note. Uh, we are happy to answer uh, notes, you know, emails. Uh, just be mindful, many times we get like a people asking us for calls. And uh, of course, yeah, you can send us uh, to contact at latamestartups.org latamestartups and you know that email goes to my personal email as well so don't worry you can uh, access to us it's important and by the way i'm going to point it out here because maybe you need this information ahead 
Um, if you go to directly about us, and this is for Alejandro, okay? Uh, you will see here, you know, our staff members. Um, so Carla Ramos, our operations manager, is the person in charge of hiring people. So those that are looking to become, you know, a part of our community as a team members, you should be talking with Carla and this is her LinkedIn profile. So you can you know, just, just connect with her directly and that, uh, you know, she is happy to receive any resumes, uh, things like that. And then, you know, these are the two project coordinators for the uh, programs. So Marcel Solda is the program coordinator for phase one and phase two of the startup programs that you see here. And she's in charge also of the boot camp in uh, Hamilton and Niagara. So if you have any questions, you can uh, send a direct note to Marcel. This is her LinkedIn profile here. And, uh, you know, she's also from Brazil. So she understands, uh, you know, English and Portuguese. And then Meg Walter, is the program coordinator for a startup visa program, NIA program, uh, anything that is acceleration program in, in here, you can cut, contact her. She speaks Spanish and a little bit of Portuguese as well. So they can you know, help you out with any uh, information in regards of the program. So if you connect with them, just uh, you know, uh, don't worry, we get like many emails per day uh, for the startup program. We just get about four emails per day, uh, you know, people asking us for that program. And this is why I was kind of finish up the presentation saying being mindful that we don't jump in calls individually because otherwise we will go nuts uh, with number of calls that uh, people asking about the programs. Um, but, you know, you can always send us an email. Uh, these info sessions happen every two months, uh, you know, every other month we are having this info session. So you can connect with us. I normally put in the presentations. I'm the CEO of Latam Startups, um, but my team is always available for the other questions and comments that you may have. So if there is no other questions and comments, I would like to thank you for being here today. And I will pass this recording session for all of you. And thank you and have a wonderful day. Bye now. <laughs>